God bless you guys today forever. My name is Keith Sanford, also known as Reverend Kicks. I'm here again with my dear friend, Elder Lewis Griffin. Excuse me, please forgive me. My allergies are, are really high right now, I guess, and, and they've been acting up. But we just want to come to you today with a good word from the Lord. We're going to talk about the attitude that we must continue to hold in crisis, attitudes that we must hold in crisis. Um, Elder, you want to pray for us? And then we'll get started. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Father God, we come dipping up yes, we do. ourselves up to you, God. That you that you bless us and keep us, oh God, that you bless this Sanford family, that you bless them and keep them, that you have come to pain to strengthen them and heal them. And such be your will, oh God, that you bless my friend here, Keith. His allergies, the pains in his body, we ask you to touch his body and he heal his allergies. God, we ask you to bless those inside my voice and bless those inside yes. my soul. God, yes. and bless us and keep us. God, we thank you for the healthy strength. God, we thank you for giving us food to eat. We thank you yes, for blessing those that don't have any. We thank you, God, for keeping us. We thank you, God, for this day. We thank you, God, for enjoying us this whole day. We thank you, God, for helping us break. God, we thank you, God, for everything you do, God. We ask you to bless those inside of my voice, oh God. We ask you to bless those in the hospital, to bless those in affliction everywhere. And God, you bless those that can't walk in yes, the strength that they might walk. Thank you, God. And keep us Jesus in that name. shadow of your wing, oh God. We ask you to keep us all in the shadow of your wing and bless us all and understand your word, God. Deliver your word to us, God. And bless them with your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take it up. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank you, God. Lord, we thank you for it. Thank, thank you, thank you Elder. I think we should start in Deuteronomy 8.18 because God promises, we God promises us provision. He is our provider. He's not only our Lord and Savior. He's our provider. He does provide. Yes, he does provide. The Bible says that he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He said the earth is mine. The, 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 the heavens are mine. The earth is mine. Every cattle is mine. And, 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 and let's go to Deuteronomy and let's see one of the promises that we, this is one of the attitudes we must have in crisis because there's, there's crisis in families, there's crisis in the world, there's crisis in, 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 in our mental health, there's different crises, but there is a financial crisis. And let's, and let's, let's attack that spirit that tries to try to attack our finances. The Bible says in the Deuteronomy 8, 18, you want to read it? Deuteronomy 8.18 8, says 8 chapter 18 verse Let me see if I can find it You got it I got it For thou should remember the Lord thy God For it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth and that he may establish his covenant which he Swore unto thy father as it is this day. Thank you. He is saying that we shall, we need to earnestly remember. We have to remember our Lord, our God, because it is him that gives us the power to get wealth. And he said that it is established in the covenant that he established with our forefathers, but it is still our reality today. Say somebody say today. He said, as it is this day. So we need to remember that when we're praying, that we need to target our prayers and say, Lord, you said, give us this day our daily bread. You have given us the power to get wealth this day. You have we will remember the Lord our God, for it is he who gives us the power to get wealth. Amen. It's not the money that gets you power. It's God that gives you the power to obtain wealth. And wealth is not only money. Wealth can be health. Wealth can be knowledge. Wealth can be understanding. Wealth can be relationships. Wealth can be so many other things than money, but sometimes we get convinced that if we have money, then everything's going to be all right. But we know the celebrities that die 
that have much money that they kill themselves, they overdose, they're in, they've had nine or ten different marriages, they're depressed, that so money doesn't answer all things. Money is not the answer to all things. No, money's not everything. No, God is. Mm -hmm. And one of the greatest fears that we have to face in life is that, 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 that we have to overcome that fear that comes upon us that tries to lie to us and say that God's word is not true. And what God said is not going to come to pass. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. But what God's promised shall come to pass. Amen? Amen. 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 The word of God works 24-7, right. 365. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you're black, you're white, you're red, or you're brown, or you're striped. It doesn't matter. As a peppermint uh, candy can. God's word will work. If you work it, come on, somebody. Let's go on in Deuteronomy. I love it. Let's go to 29 chapter of Deuteronomy and let's read. I'll read number nine. Chapter 29. 29, verse number nine. And these are the, the facts that we need to have in our life. And this is the type of attitude that we have, we need to have in our life in this critical time of recession, of crisis, of uncertainty, of warfare, of problems, of pain, of persecution, and whatever you're dealing with. This is the attitude that we need to take. We need to know the word. Are you ready? And in, in, in nine. verse number nine, and the Bible says, and the Lord your God will make you abundantly prosperous in every work of your hand. Somebody put your hand up to heaven and say, the Lord God, the Lord God will make me, make me abundantly make prosperous me in every work of my hand and in the fruit of my body and the fruit of my cattle and the fruit of my land for his good. For the Lord will again delight in making me prosper as he took delight in our forefathers. So the see Moses is continuing to proclaim the word of God that was shared with him by God about those that came before him. And we have to know that this doesn't take God by surprise. That our life does not take God by surprise. That there's nothing that, 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 that there's nothing that is happening now that he doesn't know about. Matter of fact, the Bible says that there's nothing new under the sun. Amen. Sometimes we feel like our particular problem, our particular pain, our particular predicament, our particular challenge is so diametrically different than anybody else that's ever lived in this world. And we feel like we're all alone. Baby, but God says, there's not one temptation that has come upon you that is not common to man. But with that temptation, God will supply a way of escape. Say, I'm coming out of this. Whether you're down in the dirt, God is going to bring you up and you're going to be up and coming. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to keep on living. Sometimes it won't feel good. Sometimes it won't feel right. But you can't give up. You got to keep on living. Sometimes you can't even get the strength. You know what I mean? To attack the world with all the effervescence and all the energy that you normally do. But sometimes you just have to take it step by step. Sometimes you just have to take it moment by moment. And God will give you the grace to put one foot in front of the other. And before you know it, you have made it through that day. Trust God. Keep on living. Come on, somebody. Say hallelujah. I am going to keep on living. See, 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 the good news is Jesus is real. Jesus came in the flesh. He died. He rose again. Come on, somebody. He created, he created an opportunity. He said, 
No man comes to the Father except through me. He said, call on, oh, hallelujah. He said, he said, he said, he said, I have not come into this world to condemn the world, but that the world through me might be saved. He created opportunity yes, he did. for us to have eternal life through himself. And that's the good news. Right. And the good news is that all the bad news is wrong. Somebody say that. The good news is that the bad news is wrong. Baby, the bad news is wrong. I don't care if you're listening to 90% of bad news. The bad news is wrong. The good news, as Jesus Christ came, and he's standing right here today with open arms, open arms. ready and willing to accept you into his family. And all you have to do is call on him. And he will answer you. Come on, somebody. Satan controls mass media. You don't have to sign for the bad reports. Oh, somebody's giving you a re bad report. And no matter how many times they say it, you don't have to receive that. You don't have to accept it. You can deny the demonic bad reports. You can say, I'm not signing for that. I'm not signed up for that. I'm signed up for the good news that's found in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Let the word of God be what you sign for and reject those negative reports. Mm -hmm. Just because Satan is, 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 is hired all these moguls and these media outlets in these uh, rich and famous and popular and influential people to promote his satanic agenda does not mean that you have to submit to it. Come on, somebody. Eat up all the chicken and spit up all the bones or you'll choke. Don't choke in this day and age. Don't let any word that contradicts the word of God be a part of the palate of, 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 of what you digest into your life. Reject it. Come on, somebody. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything that contradicts the word of God, refuse it. Because your faith will get contaminated. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Because when, when that thing contaminates your spirit, one of the first things that Satan tried to do in the Bible, in the garden, was contradict the word of God. And the first thing, the first emotion, not of God, that came into this world was fear. That's why the Bible says 365 times, fear not. Hallelujah. Sometimes even when you're feeling worried and you're feeling anxious, you got to lift your hands up to heaven and say, I shall not fear. I shall not fear no evil for the Lord is with me. Because that spirit of fear will control your decisions. Have you ever did something wrong because you were scared? Have you ever said something wrong? Yes. Because you were scared. Genesis 3.10 says, he said, I heard a sound walking in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. That's what fear will do to you. Uh -huh. God is looking for you. God is calling your name. God is showing you that he wants to have a conversation with you. But because you have allowed fear to contaminate your life, instead of coming to him open and naked and say, yes, I have departed from your path. Forgive me, Lord. 
Thank you for coming to get me. Help me. We hide ourselves. That's what we do. And that's what happened in the garden. But remember that God did not give you a spirit of fear, but one of power and love and a sound mind. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I hope this is helping us today because this is something that we need to have spoken into our life. I'm not saying that you're not going to face fear, fear and anxiety. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you don't have to walk in it. You don't have to you don't have to let it dictate your decisions. Let all of your decisions be dictated by what thus saith the Lord. Amen. And sometimes you need to hear it because sometimes we're so inundated with the negativity. We're so surrounded by all these negative voices. We shut out the voice of truth. So we need to hear the truth. And the truth will make you free. Will make you free. Thank you, Elder. It'll make you free. Galatians 3.29. Come on, somebody. Is another weapon against fear. And we need to know it. So we can have the right attitude in this crisis, in this time of hardship, in this time of anxiety, in this time of warfare. We need to know God's promises and God promises this in Galatians 3.29. And he says, if you belong to Christ, raise your hand if you belong to Christ. If you belong to Christ, then this word is yours. And if you don't belong to Christ, you can belong to him by retent, repenting and giving your life to him. And this promise will be yours also. Well, what is it, Keith? The Bible says that if you belong to Christ, then you're Abraham's seed. And if you're Abraham's seed, you're heirs of the inheritance promised to Abraham and all of his children. That's right, guys. You have an inheritance from God himself. And just like he poured it out on Abraham, he is saying that if you belong to him, then those promises will flow into your life. <laughs> Glory to God. That's the word that we need in our hearts. That's the word we need to live by. We can see that the world system is in a crisis. And the crisis that they're in is the crisis that they've created. We don't operate or should not, I should say, we should not operate in the world system. We need to operate in God's system, the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. The Bible says in Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first of God and all of his righteousness. And then all of these things will be added. All these things shall be added unto you. So it's, it, it, sometimes we may be seeking God and trying to do things but we're trying to do things in seeking God in the wrong system. We need to seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Money is the world's power. They invest everything, all their energy, all their attention. All of their motives is, 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 is motivated, is moved by obtaining money. Money is their God. Amen. And the Bible says that, 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 that money, that the love, the love of money is the root of all evil. Evil. It's the root of all evil. Money hungry, money grubbing, uh, money lust, 
greed. It's a root of evil that tries to permeate itself in our minds, in our hearts. Where people begin to be greedy and stingy. stingy. Amen. See people dying of thirst and won't even give them a bottle of water. People will try to manipulate you just like the world will try to manipulate you so they can suck you dry. Mm. But if we feel that spirit of greed come upon us, it's because we don't believe God is going to provide for us. Amen? Amen. 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 That's the Amen. truth. When we begin to huddle up and begin to, 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 to close our fist to giving, close our fist to, to reaching out, to, 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 to start uh, drawing back in fear because we don't feel like God's going to be able to provide for us. But the Bible says give. Give. Gonna be given unto you. Good measure. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. together. And running over Amen. shall men give Amen. into Amen. your bosom. Amen. Sure will. So 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 don't allow that spirit of greed to jump on you. The world's power is its ability to suck money up. And you see what crisis we are in because of the greed of the nations. Come on, somebody. If God created you, then he'll protect your vineyard. He will protect your life. He will protect those things that are valuable in your life. Come on, somebody. He yes, he will. Mm -hmm. We have to reject that fear. Amen. Amen. And we need to say that the Lord is our portion. We will not fear what man shall do unto me. Amen. Even when trouble comes, be anchored in the Lord. When, when, when crisis comes, continue to be anchored in the Lord. When, when fear comes, don't allow it to sink your ship. Don't allow it to move you from where God planted you. Because your soul got to be anchored in the Lord. Come on, somebody. Say, my soul is anchored in the Lord. Soul is anchored in the Lord. So, so number one, believe this is the attitude we got to have. Number one, believe that God shall supply all of our needs according to his, riches and glory. his riches and in, glory. in glory. Thank you, Jesus. That's our attitude. So if you're writing it down, our attitude must be that we believe God shall supply all of our needs. God is our source. He is our source. Number two, remember that God is our source. If God doesn't give it to us, we don't want it. We don't want it. Number three, refuse fear when circumstances come in your life to threaten your faith. Refuse fear when things come into your life to threaten your faith. Amen? That's three. Number four, you got to decide what side are you on. God or the devil. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Life and good or death 
in evil. Don't receive the negative reports of this world. Because that's death and that's evil. That's wicked. That's not from God. You don't have to receive it. You can reject it. You can say the Lord is my source. He, the Lord is my source. He's my strength. He's my anchor. He's my refuge. He's my shield and my exceeding great reward. I choose life and good. I choose that life that he gets because the Lord is good. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, I will choose life and good. Ay, 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 ay. And the last thing we need to do is we need to give to those in need. We need to have an attitude of gratitude for the things that God has given us. And, and, and freely it was given, freely we should give. Come on, somebody. Come on, my friend. Come on, somebody. We're going to end by reading Proverbs 28. 27. Proverbs 28 and 27. Mm -hmm. And this is where we're going to end. And I pray that this helps us have the wrong, right mindset to destroy wrong mindsets. I'm sorry again, guys. My allergies are feeling so much better after Elder prayed. I normally was sneezing, 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 sneezing. We're in Proverbs 28, verse number 27. And we're going to close with that, guys. We're going to close with that. Proverbs 28, verse number 27. The 28th chapter of Proverbs, the 27th verse. Yeah, let's see it right here. The buckets have no pain yet. Go down for it all of them by. Sorry, guys. Hold on real quick. Let me get them on the right place. That's Proverbs 31. We need Proverbs 28, 27. There you go, my friend. Right there. Read it real loud so we can hear he that give it <clears throat> to the poor shall not lack, but he that hide it his eye shall have many and curse. So <clears throat> giving gives us access to the promises of God. And we don't give out of necessity. We give because that's the attitude we should have. God's attitude was to give. He gave his son. His son gave his life. Amen. The Holy Spirit gives us, leads us, and guides us into all truth. We have a giving God. No matter what personality or what characteristic that you look into the word of God, it's one that gives us. An eternal, reward. an eternal reward. He wants us to be blessed yes. when we return unto him and he wants us to be blessed right now, right down in the dirty, dirty world, in the mess that the world has made of itself. And he promises us that if we give, we will not be in lack. Right. But when we operate in fear and greed, that we will suffer the curses that come upon that has come upon this earth. Amen. So we bless God for an opportunity to receive his word. And we thank him for washing us from all, all of our sins and, and, and cleansing us from all iniquity and, and, and changing our hearts and our attitudes and writing his word on our hearts 
and pouring out his anointing destroy, to destroy all demonic yokes on our life, to free us from the influence of every negative report and the onslaught of, of fear and anger and a panic that's in this world. Amen. And, and we just lose the spirit of peace, the spirit of love, a sound mind. We come against every spirit that would mess up our mind. Every lying voice, we, 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 we say, peace be still. Shut up, devil. Lord, we ask you to turn up your volume in our ears that so we can hear your word and give us a heart to obey it. God, we ask for peace in the Middle East. Lord, we ask you to bring peace and revival in Jerusalem, in all of Israel, where every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and that there will be prophets that rise up in that Middle Eastern territory, territory that will preach the gospel unashamedly, boldly, that they will not be ashamed of Jesus Christ and the power of God of salvation will be loosed in that place to the Jew first and then the Gentile. God, that we can't have no fear because people have influence in this world and we're scared to say that certain people need to repent and come to Jesus. We all need to come to Jesus because he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And he is our soul salvation. And we thank you, Father, for sending Jesus. And we thank you, Jesus, for everything that you're doing in our life. God, we pray on this day as we celebrate 800 subscribers. Amen. That we'll have 800 souls that come to the Lord. And on that note, I pray in Jesus' name. And I thank God for every one of you. And I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, remember, over the next, over the next couple weeks, I'm going to be looking for cash out uh, names in my comments so I can send you, one of you, two of you, $50 just to say, thank you, I believe in you, I'm with you, I want to sow into you. Something that, that, that you can have to kind of make your day a little bit better. Now, God's your source, but I want to join with him just to show you that you are important to me. Amen. Amen. And I think a $50 gift makes people happy. Amen. 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 I wish I had more. I'm not a rich man, but I just want to reach out and tell you thank you. And every time we go, uh, we get 100 more subscribers. I'll be doing that. So once you see us creep up there to another 100, start getting your cash app information ready and drop it in the comments. There have been people from Africa, people from uh, California, uh, people all over the nation that have received that $50 gift. Amen. And there's no strings attached. I send it to your cash app. You use it any way that you see fit. Amen. Because I believe that God has blessed us to be a blessing. And I want to tell you how much I love you, how much I care for you, how humbled I am that you're in my family and that I am so happy that you have chosen to subscribe and to take this journey with me that I just want to give something of substance uh, other than what the Lord provides to share with you how much I am appreciative of what you are doing in our life, in the life of the channel, and by partnering with me. Amen. It's just a just a token of my love. I love you guys. I'm praying for you today and ever forever. My name is Keith Sanford, also known as Reverend Kicks, and I will see you soon in Jesus' name. You want to say something, Brother Lewis? God bless y'all. God keep y'all. Is my prayer. 
I'm glad to be with y'all this morning, and God bless y'all, and, and keep y'all, and many blessings of the Lord come upon you, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Brother Lewis. I love you, man. Please continue to lift up Brother Lewis in your prayers, and our family, and our friends, and as you do, we are lifting you up. Amen? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Love you guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.